Hello, Janet. Good morning. Let me know if you can hear me okay. If you want to unmute your mic or post it in the chat, I want to make sure the audio is coming through okay. We'll get started here in just a minute. All right, great. Thank you, uh, Janet, for confirming. Hello, Claudia. Good morning. Daniela, hello. Good morning. All right, I think we'll jump right into it. Hello, Kim. Good morning. Um, I'm going to go. Morning. Good morning. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start uh, by sharing my screen. And I went in and uh, checked uh, yesterday's assignment. Today, I'd like to continue with what we did yesterday. And I'm in the virtual classroom. We're going to continue working in our wiki. And I want to remind everyone again the the way in which I would like the the wiki right to be uh, to be included, the information, how I would like the information uh, to be included. And basically, what I would do is just follow these instructions. Okay, this these instructions are meant to guide you in how to uh, include or what information to include in in your wiki. And I would recommend following uh, the same order. All right, so at the top of your wiki, make sure that you have either embedded your video or if you can't embed the video that you've included the, the link, the URL. So don't worry about it if you're not able to embed it. Don't worry about if you if you include the link and it shows twice, it appears twice, the video, that's okay also. Don't worry about that. Now below the video or the link to the video, then I would include... Uh, I would include the title. All right, so I would try to include a six to 12 word title of your uh, social inequality topic. Okay, so you can come up with not too long, not too short. I would say six to 12 words is a, a, good, a good number of words. Then below the title, right, then I would list out your questions. Okay, so I've included these questions here as, as examples, and you can use these questions. If you come up with additional questions, that's fine also, but I would like to see both the question and the answer, both the question and the answer. So you could post the question, right, and then just below the question, you could write out the answer. Also make sure that the answers are written out in complete sentences. All right, so even if you're repeating yourself, right, instead of using the pronoun it, it's okay to repeat yourself. Whatever it is, whatever you're referring to, write it out, but try to include a subject and a predicate. Try to include a subject, some a verb phrase, maybe a prepositional phrase, maybe even uh, another clause, right? Because the idea is to try to include as much detail as possible for answering each of the questions. It's not necessary to answer all of the questions, but try to answer as many as possible. The more questions that you answer and the more detail that you provide each answer, uh, the easier it's going to be to do what we, we're going to begin to, 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 that we're going to begin doing today. All right. So the more that you can answer the questions, the more detail you can provide, the easier uh, it's going to be today to develop your paragraph. All right, so make sure you include the questions, make sure you include the answers. Now, you can modify these questions, right? These questions are meant to be general because uh, I don't know which focus you're going to, you know, you're, what you're going to focus on. And so the first question, for example, what is the inequality? Notice that I'm not asking what is inequality, generally speaking. Because I'm using the article the, I'm referring to the specific inequality that is your topic. So, for example, if you're going to write about the pay gap between men and women in Mexico, then you could write the question, what is the inequality in pay or in the pay gap between men and women. You can include that in your question to be to be more specific. 
All right, and then write out your answer accordingly. All right, so take each of these questions with that in mind, that these questions are meant to be general, but you can include more information instead of using the pronoun it as I'm using, because again, I don't know what I didn't know at the time of writing these questions, which specific topic you would be uh, focusing on. All right, so this exercise, what we're doing here is we're practicing writing questions. We're practicing writing answers as complete sentences, right? Thinking in terms of grammar, right? How do we grammatically include certain words in word order to develop good questions and good answers? All right, and so that's part of the exercise here in doing this, this activity. So keep that in mind when you're developing this. And if you need to make changes, right, depending on what you accomplished yesterday, then that will need to be a focus. If you still need to make some changes, make those, try to make those today. Once you have your good questions and your answers posted to your wiki, then the, the fourth thing here we need to do just below your questions and answers in your wiki is to then start developing one unified, coherent, and cohesive paragraph. Based on what? Based on the answers that you have included here. Now, one thing that I actually didn't include here that I think is, is a good idea here is to, I would include, what's, what is the order in which now you're going to present these, these answers? And your answer to that question is going to depend on a lot of things. It's going to depend on the topic that you have. It's going to depend on the organizational pattern that you that you want to focus on. All right. What's most important? Maybe it has something to do with time, right? If you want to develop your paragraph in terms of chronological order, right? Think about how you want to organize your paragraph in terms of now all of this information you have based on your answers. And again, if you had really short answers and very general answers, then you might not be ready to write the paragraph. It's better to have too much information up here in the answers and not use it all than vice versa, not having enough information in the answers and then trying to develop it in your paragraph. So keep that in mind. When you're ready to write your paragraph, you have good detailed answers, then you decide how you want to organize this information. You may not even need to organize it by question. You could maybe combine some of the answers together. It just depends totally on the organizational pattern that you want to, uh, want to focus on. So if you want to include, and I suggest this, although I didn't mention it here in the instructions, you might include some note, right, right above your paragraph, some sort of note about how you're organizing your paragraph, right? This will definitely help me look at how you're approaching your paragraph, that you're th consciously thinking about how you want to organize it. And then when I see your paragraph, that will help me uh, give you some feedback about whether or not you're, you're respecting that particular order. But I want you to pay close attention to the order and there are many options, many different ways that you can go about organizing your information, but it needs to be organized. And at the end of the day, there needs to be some organizational pattern that makes it easy for someone to understand what you're saying. That's, that's the whole goal of organizing it is what's the best way to deliver this idea? What's the best way to explain my answers in a way that someone could easily understand what I'm trying to say. All right, so try to keep that in mind whenever you're developing your paragraph. And again, there are going to be some cases uh, that, I, that I came across. Some of you will need to go back and answer in a little bit greater detail some of your questions. All right, before you answer some, before you answer uh, or you complete the paragraph. There should not be any information in the paragraph that's not in the answers to the questions. Say that again. There should be nothing stated 
in the paragraph that's not included somewhere in the answers to your questions. All right, so again, if you don't include everything in your uh, paragraph, if you don't include all of the answers, that's okay. But you, but I don't want you to mention anything in your paragraph that you don't mention in the questions. Does that make sense, guys? It's better to have too much up here in the questions and not need it. That's okay. Then vice versa, that you're just basically creating the, the paragraph and all these details, but you didn't mention it up here in, in your question and answer section. All right, so this is what I would like to work on today. I want to give you the rest of today to, to work on any of these, right? This is an, an extension of the activity that we completed yesterday, right? But in some cases, again, we may need to either change the order, right? Again, make sure that we're following the same order as it appears here, that we've got our questions and our answers, et cetera, our title. Any questions, guys, about today's uh, task? No, Ben. No? All right. So I'm going to go ahead and mute my mic, and if you guys have questions or you want me to look at something in your wiki, I then unmute your mic, jump in, and uh, ask away. I would prefer that you jump in with your mic because I may not be checking uh, constantly the, the chat. I may miss the chat if you ask a question in the chat. So um, if for some reason someone's not able to use your microphone, if someone can jump in and draw my attention to the chat so that I could address any questions that appear there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and mute my mic. You guys let me know if you guys have any questions. Ben, I have a question. Yes, uh, go ahead. Uh, in the second question that says, where does it exist? Can I write uh, specific companies that I'm going to focus or, or mm -hmm. what should I Yeah, focus? you can, sure. You can focus on a specific, uh, like if it occurs in a, in a company or a certain location in some country or some part of the world. So it depends on the context. But yeah, you can talk about, um, yeah, a particular business with, if this inequality is happening in even either a, a type of business or maybe even an industry, if you think that it applies more to the industry, not specifically to one business, but, but it's up to you. It's up to you uh, what you want to include there. Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Ben, I have a question. Yes, go ahead. Um, since I'm talking about speciesism, um, mm -hmm. the, f the fifth question, does it exist? Um, I'm confused. Um, should I put every time a, a human wants to eat or... I don't know how to Yeah, so that. so what what you one of the first things you need to do Jessica is, is focus on maybe one species or one part of the world or one particular culture and and species, right? So you need to narrow down the focus um, to again either yeah, in those different ways, right? It can either be a specific species, a specific re region or culture, um, and that will help you n answer that question, right, about where it exists. So if you want to focus on, on a certain species in, I don't know, the southern part of Mexico, for example, right, well, then that would be your explanation. That's This is part of the process of narrowing down a very broad uh, topic right, is to think about these things. Like what, in your readings, in the video that you have, does it talk about one particular 
type of species or can you find a video or some sites that specify or that really focus on one in particular because you can't talk about everything obviously yeah. right so, so can, I, mm -hmm. can i talk about I, I mean just focus on bullfights for example sure absolutely that's a great, uh, great topic. Yeah, yeah. Just focus on bullfights in Mexico, or or bullfights in, in cultures that, that uh, celebrate bullfights. Okay. All Thank right. you. You're welcome. Okay, guys, we're getting close to to the end. Uh, try for tomorrow to have some ideas put together in your paragraphs. Try to include your paragraphs just below your questions in your wiki. And tomorrow, we'll take the final step in bringing all of our paragraphs together in a single document. All right. And if anybody wants me to look at anything or has questions about um, basically anything that we've been working on in this task, send me a message via chat in Microsoft Teams. If you want me to look at something before our next class, um, or if you have questions, you don't have to wait to our live sessions to, to ask those questions. Make sure that you're getting your questions answered in a timely fashion, quickly, so that you can continue progressing. All right, so we'll go ahead and continue tomorrow uh, with uh, this activity. It'll be our last day to finalize this. Again, the idea is to bring all of our ideas together into one single document so that we can present those ideas in an organized fashion based on social inequality. All right, any questions, guys, about about the activity? I just have another question. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, I, uh, can I change some videos? Uh, because I need to un answer certain questions that the videos that I put yesterday did not answer, so. Of course, yes. You guys can change anything that you need to change, right? As, as you're getting more informed and you're getting into the topics and you're reading about the topics and writing and getting feedback from me and from hopefully some other, some of your classmates, uh, feel free to change any of the tasks that we've been working on. Anywhere from the questions, obviously your answers can be the videos. If you want to change your title, you can change your title, right? This is why we're working in a wiki so that you can continue to make those changes in the wiki. So yes, uh, feel free to to make the changes, and you don't need uh, you know unless you have questions, you don't need you know my permission to change your topic or or change a focus, right? As long as you feel that you have the information to answer those questions, go ahead and make those those changes. Okay, because tomorrow, uh, since tomorrow is going to be our last day to finalize the paragraph. We need to have already updated and you know making sure that our topic, our title, our videos, and our questions all align. They all talk about the same thing, obviously. So yes, go ahead and feel free, guys, to make changes as as you need to. Okay, Any thank other, you. You're welcome. Any other questions? All right, I guess then we'll go ahead and conclude uh, today's class and uh, we'll continue again tomorrow, guys, with this activity and we'll stop there for today. All right, enjoy the rest of your day and we'll talk to you guys tomorrow. All right, take care. Thank bye. you, bye. Thank you, bye. Bye.